Hi, it's Dave Bloom. I'm going to be tying one of my patterns, a variation on one of my patterns called the Flying Z, which is a uh, midge pattern. Um, it's tied sometimes uh, bigger. Actually, I'm going to have to swap that hook out. It is tied on a 2488H. Um, this one's a 12 for the camera, but my usual size for this one is 16 and smaller. I use kind of an oversized bead. This is flies designed to sink quickly. Uh, so I'm going to grab another hook out of here. Put that in the vise and flatten the barm. Install a bead. Okay, and I'm going to mount this in the vise. Okay, so I'm going to use two different colors on the body. The rib will be this glow bright floss in purple, and the body is this UTC purple. This is 140. Normally when I'm tying I'll use a 170. And uh, But since I'm tying on a 12, this is what I'm going to use today. So anyway, I'm going to start by tying the purple UTC in behind the bead. I'm just going to get three or four turns in there. And I'm going to make a couple turns over the globe right and I'm just going to pull that in. Oops, pulled it out. Do that again. I think I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to go right up behind the bead again. Tie that in with a couple turns and I'm going to pull that to length and then wrap back over it, touching turns. I'm going to take it slightly past the barb into the bend. I'm going to spin my bobbin counterclockwise, flatten my thread out, and I'm going to make another wrap up into the body, touching turns up to right behind the bead. I'm going to do that again. I'm not trying to make a, I'm trying to midge. I don't want my midge to be too thick. I want a very slight taper and that's it. Okay, now I'm going to take my globe right and I'm going to run that up as a rib. It doesn't really show up to the human eye but it does to the fish. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to tie it off. And you'll really see that when, uh, when I uh, hit this with the light here in a second. Okay, so now that I've got that tied off, I'm going to take some more of this solar res bone dry. And I'm going to paint that abdomen. Let it soak in there. Once again, I don't want it, I don't want a fat body, I just want a tough body. So I'm paint that on, let it soak in. And I'm gonna grab my light. I'm gonna cure that. And now you can see the effect of that ribbing. Isn't that cool? It looks, uh, and that's what the fish will see. Kind of a subtle midge looking body. Okay, so my next material is going to be this crystal flash, midge size and purple pearl. 
and I'm just going to grab a couple of, actually just one piece. Okay, and I'm just going to wrap this around the thread once. Tie right behind the bead, wrap backwards just a couple times. Now we'll hold that in there. I'm going to take a little bit of this is called Dark Peacock UV Dub. I get it from Mike Coinus at Yellowstone Fly Goods. And it has a nice effect, especially with this color scheme and also with the black. So I'm just going to dub a tight little thorax right behind the bead. I want that to get about the same size as the bead, but not much bigger. Okay, and that can be fuzzy. So I'm, I'm gonna pull those antenna up and I'm gonna cut them a little longer, about the same size as the whole hook. So I'm gonna hang back just a couple little wings like that. And I'm gonna cut the biggest ones out. And then I'm going to take some of the Harrop's head cement and I'm going to put a big drop right behind the bead. And I'm going to tie couple of whip finishes over the top of that. One, two, three turns for one. Tighten it up. One, two, three turns again. And I'm going to cut that out of there. Clean that up just a little bit. And I want to show you how this thing glows when I hit it with the UV light when I've got everything tied up. And the fish dig that. That body, I mean, if you look at that body, I've, I've used several different colors for this, but it looks an awful lot like a midge body, especially like a big lake midge, yeah. And that's it.